Okay, so why I think every man needs an assault rifle. Uh, I see some comments from time to time uh, on some of the other videos I've done, and guys talking about, about their go-to rifles and their, their preferred rifles, and uh, uh, I believe Screw Loose, a.k.a. Madman, just did, did a one-gun video here just recently. I hope I got that name right, Screw Loose. I'm sorry if I screwed it up. Uh, and he was talking about his choice, and his, his was an AR-15 that was tricked out pretty nice. Uh, and it just got me to thinking about some of the other comments we've had on this topic over, over the year, year and a half, two years now. And, uh, and of course, there's the big debate between the AR guys and the AK guys. But there's also a lot of people who, who choose their, their go-to weapon as, as something other than an, 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 a, a traditional assault rifle. And I know we hate that term, assault rifle, but it's descriptive. Everyone knows what you're talking about. If you say main battle rifle, some guys are going to tell you that you're only talking about, uh, you know, certain categories, uh, the, the M1 Garand or, you know, full, full size or, or, or full power cartridge, semi-automatic rifle. Some guys will tell you, you know, if, if you say infantry rifle, they, they say you're talking about the bolt action. If we say assault rifle, we all know what we're talking about. We're talking about... Uh, the modern infantry rifle, the AR-15, the AK-47, the SKS, the SCAR, the CAR, the BAR, the SCAR, PAR, GAR, you know, all, you know, you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, they're, 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 they're box fed, they're, they're, they're box magazine fed semi-automatic rifles that, that I don't, I don't care what cartridge they, they, they fire. In my opinion, if it's, if it's a, a box magazine fed semi-automatic rifle, then for me it qualifies. Uh, I, you, 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 I might say you have to be able to take at least, you know, 10 rounds or more or something, but 15 rounds or more or something, I don't know, but, but I, I don't, I don't draw that fine of a line on, on this category. Uh, for me, the Ruger 1022 could be an assault rifle. Obviously the AR-15 is a great assault rifle. Uh, AK-47, I mean, you name it, FN Fall, uh, G3, I'll Galil, you know, there's a lot of them. I know. But, but I think every man's go-to rifle should be should fall into this category. Not saying you should only have one rifle. You don't use other rifles for other things, or that this rifle can do everything. But I think every man's first rifle that that, that you know, if you can only have one rifle, you start with an assault rifle. Your your go-to rifle, the rifle you're the best trained with, the rifle you're the most familiar with. I think should be an assault rifle, and this it just it's a real simple reason. You're 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 a member of the general militia. You're responsible for the security of your family, your home, your community, uh, you know your state, your nation. It all falls on you, and you can't do that. I I, I know you know some guys are going to talk about you know the, how good the 12 gauge is or you know the sniper rifle or or a hunting rifle that functions as a sniper rifle and how effective that can be and yes it can but it's all got to be supported by the basic infantrymen we we had this debate in world war 2 and 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 the semi automatic uh, rifle won uh, the the german soldier was a highly trained highly skilled warrior they had the best bolt action rifle of all time i mean the the K98 Mauser uh, is still the standard for for uh, a service grade, you know, mass-produced bolt-action rifle. The 8 millimeter was a fantastic round, real similar to our 30 uh, You know, it, it came up against a semi-automatic rifle and and head-to-head -head it lost. Uh, so so that debate is over. Uh, I'm not saying you don't need a sniper. I'm not saying there's no Please listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying there's no utility in a sniper rifle or a bolt action rifle or, you know, I love bolt action rifles. You know, I'll tell you, I had, I, I, I love old, old things. Uh, and my rifle, my only rifle that I owned for years until just recently was a Ruger number no. one in 30-06. It's a single shot falling block rifle. Uh, that was my only rifle. I sold that rifle, which I loved. I loved that rifle. I sold it because I realized what I'm talking about right now is I was not prepared to uh, to, to to be a part of that general militia. I had I, I had a great rifle. It was a great hunting rifle. Uh, I would love to get it back one day, but I had a I had a luxury rifle and I needed a utility rifle. Uh, and you know I I sold that Ruger number one. 
and uh, and, and was able to, to to build the the assault rifle I needed. Uh, so, you know, I, I would love to. I'm going to get I, I, in my my mind, my dream. I'm going to have that Ruger number one again, or one a lot like it. But until that day, you know, I needed to be able to fill my basic function as, as a protector and a builder, and and as a member of that general militia. I needed to have a rifle that was uh, capable of doing that. Another little anecdote, and I, I meant to look up all the details of this story. I read it years ago, and I just I had to get a video, guys. I'm sorry, it's been so long. Uh, we've been working a lot, and the storm and whatnot, y y yada yada excuses. But during the Revolutionary War, you know, there there wasn't a standing army per se. All the states were sending up their militias to to join the standing army, and there was one state. And I can't remember who it was. It may have been, it was somewhere up, up north, up in the northeast, Maine. Uh, I don't think it was Massachusetts, but it could have been Massachusetts, New York. A militia showed up uh, to fight, and, uh, and they did not have, they were very, very poorly armed. Most of them didn't have any rifles. They didn't have any, enough ammunition. They, they came very poorly prepared. And it incensed George Washington to the point where I, I think he got, he was going to court-martial him and have him hung and shot or something. I mean, he was just so lividly angry that these men would be so unprepared and that, and they would come so uh, completely unequipped to, to fulfill the basic, what was considered at the time, a basic role, a basic function of a man. You know, you, you have a rifle, you have ammunition, you know, you, you're responsible for defending what's important. So... To, to make a really exciting topic boring, I always talk about how the important things are boring. This is an exciting topic, and I've had to make it boring. Uh, you know, if you've, if you've only got one rifle, you, if you don't have a rifle, may I suggest an assault rifle? Because you can't fulfill your basic function. I know I'm going to anger some people, and they're going to start yelling at me. It's very difficult to fulfill your basic function with it. My daddy had a lever action, and yada, 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 yada. Yeah. Okay, I get that. Fine. Wonder I love lever actions. I love pumps. Uh, I love it all. But it's it's not your basic, you know, go to war, defend your freedoms, defend your family rifle. That needs to be an assault rifle. So all you guys who've who've who've, who've commented on those other videos, the one gun video, uh, the AR-15, yeah, the AR-15 videos. Uh, I have a, a video talking about the 7.62 and the 5.56. Two different videos. Those get a lot of traffic. And, and I've seen guys talking about, you know, their, their choices was this, uh, and all excellent rifles. I mean, no one, no one got on there and said they were going to use some crap rifle. They were all talking about interesting, unique, uh, capable weapons. But, but there were guys who were talking about some things that just weren't going to be competitive on the modern st stage if you ever needed to fulfill your function. Which, and, and, and what's the chances you ever will? Probably nil. But if, if you did, you couldn't, or you wouldn't be effective. So there you go. I think assault rifles are, uh, are an, an important thing that I, every man should own. And if you don't have one, may, may I paraphrase the words of Jesus who, who, who told his disciples to, uh, in, the, in the last days, if they didn't have a sword, to sell their cloak and buy a sword. May I encourage you to to sell your, your non-assault rifles and buy an assault rifle if you don't have one. Thanks, man.